fielding some questions here for us simile student from within the telegram group said he just failed step one and wants to know because he's seen many of my prior clips wants to know if i still believe that memorizing nbme's 20 through 30 is essential okay so i've made repeated clips uh yes on this topic okay uh, but i get asked the same dumb questions frequently so i will quickly address this so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. I'm EHLMAN underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. So as I just fucking said, student wants to know about NVMEs 20 through 30. If I still think it's relevant to memorize them, the answer is yes. Okay. And this shouldn't even be a matter of subjectivity on my end where it's a matter of opinion objectively we need to recognize that the nbmes and the real us simile are exactly the same thing okay so when we have a hierarchy of preparation it's going to be the nbmes that need to be memorized late okay now irrespective of the exact number of repeats that show up in your exam because some students have a tendency to take this memorization point literally as though I'm going to get three repeats or 10 repeats. How many repeats am I going to get on my exam? Okay. When in reality, if you understand each fucking question you look at extremely well, you're going to get new questions on the real deal where the concepts are pretty much identical and you're going to be able to extract from your repertoire of having gone through those NBME questions, all that info sitting in your pre-conscious state, you're going to be able to drive with a good gut instinct to answer the novel questions on the real US simile, okay? So the concepts are gonna repeat. You have to recognize that there's a hierarchy of material. The same fucking way, you're not going through Kaplan or US simile RX, QBank over UWorld as your initial QBank, are you? No, that makes no fucking sense. Well, going through UWorld late over the NBMEs makes no sense because we need you to mentally calibrate to the real deal content immediately prior to sitting it okay so there's a hierarchy of material you world is the qbank that we prefer initially and then prior to seeing the real deal we need to adjust to the nbme question style so i want you memorizing nbme's 20 to 30. for step one you're going to do 20 through 24 offline you're going to screenshot all of your incorrects from each exam into anki i want you studying each NBME exam as you move through. So for example, you're going to do 20, 21, 22. Each of these exams over two days generally is how I uh, will space it out for students. So that's four days, let's say for 20 and 21. And then you go through 22 and you're going to finish the review over the second day. And then after you finish the questions from 22, all 200 questions, you're going to re-review from the Anki, the questions from the incorrects from 20 and 21. Okay. So you're going to be having a lot of incorrect questions to go through. But by layering everything, you're effectively memorizing the NBME questions, okay? So 20 through 24 offline, then you're going to do free 120, then you're going to do 25 through 30. This is the short version of it. You get some students who get hysterical that they want to do free 120 late. It's not in their best interest because our priority is maximizing your scores on 25 through 30, okay? The questions from free 120 and 25 through 30 are exactly the same. So this notion that somehow free 120 is more predictive or is better, absolute nonsense. Okay. Another quick point I should quickly mention is why why just 20 through 30? Why not 19 earlier? I think it's I think it's satisfactory to do the newest 11 NBMEs 20 through 30. That's 2200 questions. That's a lot of fucking material. Now of course there's bootleg explanations on 25 through 30. Okay, NBME has their beta style, their first round of explanations, which are mediocre at best. 20 through 24, we can find makeshift explanations offline. But that material doesn't have the, the thorough nature, the lengthy explanations of UWorld. Okay, so that's why I think doing UWorld is appropriate still at this point in time. Okay, because some students say, well, why even bother with UWorld? Why not just do like NBMEs 1 through 19 initially in place of UWorld, then do 20 through 30? It's because I think the UWorld explanations are still important to do to build foundation. That's why. So I think at this point in time, 2022, you're going to go through all UWorld, then you're going to do 
20 through 30, including free 120 prior to doing the online MBMEs. That's the short version of it. And I want you to take home that the NBMEs are the real U.S. Simulator. The material is exactly the same. So if you're not incorporating these latest NBMEs into your prep, it's a big, big rookie error, okay? It's going to put you at a disadvantage. Definitely know the NBME content. You know the deal. I'm going to make more stuff. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.